Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Did you hear that uh, the UK's big brother and everybody? <laughs> Sorry, what? Like like the show? Like no, they're like, giving everybody like a house? Big brother to? from the 1984 book. Oh. Like totalitarian. Like They're state. turned into a police state. Yeah. So under under what pretenses? What's well, it, what's going on exactly? So, uh, it came. It started popping up online that Pete like a video of like a uh, police officer mm-hmm. in somebody's home talking to a guy in England, and she was just like, "Isn't this you? Weren't you like posting online?" And the guy was just like playing dumb or like whatever. So then it started popping off a little bit, and there was I don't know who sure sure who this guy is. He's some some legal guy over there, but he said <laughs> one of the quotes that he said is we do have dedicated police officers who are scouring social media to look for this material and then following up with arrests. Okay, but I mean, it, it, it depends on what they're saying. Well, though. right. But what they're saying is, you know, obviously like, I think some of the people that got arrested were doing some more like insightful things. Like let's go here and burn the stuff to the ground. But like, okay. but even like if it, they said, if you're, if you're retweeting any of that stuff, if you're like, if it basically even mm. said, if you're posting videos of what's happening, mm. you could get arrested for that too. It's like, mm. so it's like, not only like, or if you're the one that's in, trying to incite, I get that. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you're just like, basically like, Hey, look at this messed up thing that's happening at my grocery store. Someone's rioting. Like you could get, go to jail for posting that online. Huh? And uh, it says, it's very, very serious. People might think they're not doing anything harmful. They are, and the consequences will be visited upon them. It says, uh, it's the director of public prosecutions of England and Wales warns that sharing online material of riots could be an offense. Okay, so now this is problematic. Okay. Yeah, it says, uh, he agreed. He said, people might be sharing content simply to warn their friends, but it could be considered an offense because they're amplifying it. Amplifying is kind of crazy. I don't like there's a difference between amplifying and informing. If something happens, then I should have the right to ha- that information and post it online. And be like, hey, everybody, look what's happening. This is actually happening. And if a person goes through an experience that happens in public where it is legal to tape everything in public, yeah, guess what? All those people were like, I don't want to be recorded. You can't record me. You better go in the house or walk away. <laughs> Because I'm in the street just like you're in the street. And right. So we, I'm recording the building. You just happen yeah. to be in front of the building doing now, something. I'm not sure if Canada has different laws. UK. I'm sorry. UK has different laws. I thought it was Canada, too, for, for a second Well, there. we Feels- started our own country for a reason. I mean, that's just true. Just saying. Yeah. So UK might have different laws on this. Now, when you said they were uh, monitoring uh, social media, that that's here, too. People self-snitch all the time. On themselves, you hey, look at the January six folks. They're all posting shit all over social media. And came yeah. back to bite them in the ass. Yep, those were the easiest ones to find, right? So, yeah. So I'm people, I'm glad self- I don't use it. Yeah, if you if you threaten a, an official, yeah, and you post it on on Facebook, yeah. If you do a crime and you're a suspect and you post about it on Facebook, yeah, you start then, posting yeah. stuff like I'm gonna go do X Y Z at a church or a school or whatever. People are gonna investigate you. Yeah, I think it's hilarious that an article, just a quick tangent, an article came from uh, across in. I was reading that said that a lot of like these YouTubers and Twitch streamers who are like looking at like crime footage and stuff, they're actually helping the police solve these crimes. The police watch all of this stuff and they're like, oh, okay, let's work for us to do. Well, right. You know, absolutely. And stuff they might miss. It's good to have a lot of people available. Oh, yeah. Well, and that's where, um, it's like, it, like that is kind of what uh, like X is becoming. Like people yeah. gave it wants such a hard time about purchasing Twitter, such a hard time about losing all the advertisers, whatever. You see stuff on X way before it hits the news. Yeah, like that's the first place it hits. People not, go there to wrong. post stuff, and there's a lot of people who do like independent journalism on there. And granted, mm-hmm. some some of them are kooks and conspiracy theorists mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. But there's real people out here posting stuff like, hey, I investigated this thing about this bank. Like, here's what I found out. It's kind of messed up. Somebody else take it from here and, like, figure it out, you know? And I guess I guess you kind of are on to something when you say a lot of them are weirdos and kooks. 
because when you have people like doing reports on what might be like AI or something like that, that could yeah. be problematic. And I wish that those people were vetted better, but it's hard to vet when you have like so many people. So maybe that's the the standpoint that the UK is taking it from because you could watch footage and all you see is, I don't know, a man hitting a woman, but you didn't see that this woman was stabbing this guy like in the car five seconds ago. So you could take from that and with the commentary added to it, it could appear one way. Right. But I do not think that like an event that happens in real life, whether it be unjust or not, should it should be allowed for a public viewing. That's why we have police with body cams. Do they have police with body cams? No Bobbies? Idea. They have well, bobby cams? Yeah, I have bobby cams. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know, dude. But like, I mean, it's yeah, that's just... That's a good joke. <laughs> but I mean, but the more and more, I mean, people, you would be ignorant to think that this isn't happening in the States, right? Yeah. Just not as blatant. What? What's that? It's what? just not as blatantly happening, I guess. Like, you know, no, they lie to that us, you have yeah. freedom of speech, but you have consequences to what you say. And if you're like, mm. I'm going to do X, Y, Z to the president, or I'm going to do, you're going to doing something wild. Mm. It's the, the government and the police are going to find out and they're going to come be like, hey, why are you talking that you're going to do something stupid? Exactly. Like, we like, just don't know because we never do that ish. Right. The people who do, they know. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> they they're probably getting calls from Jim FBI. Like, Yeah. So which do you prefer, Jonas? Do you prefer a company that just lies to you and does it? Or do you prefer a company that's flat out like, if you do some stupid ish that we don't like, I don't care how you feel. We just well, gonna do it I anyway. Well, I guess here, here's the here, here's the thing. It's a fine line. It's like the Patriot. It it's like the Patriot Act that got passed. It was oh like da 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 terrorist da 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 da. Everyone's like, yeah, fear, fear, fear. Yes, let us in. But then they use it for nefarious means to like track people and everything. like whatever. They use it like, for everything. But yeah, so. I don't post wild shit on the internet, so I don't care. That part. Y you know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't want them to then use it to like just be like scouring through my internet history just for just for shits and gigs. Sorry, not that man. I not that I'm doing anything I care that people could see anyway, but just like <clears throat> You it, feel like you should be able to post wild shit on the internet if you decide to. Yeah, but you have consequences to your actions. Like it's just like I could walk down the street screaming the N-word. I'm allowed to do it. Yeah. But when someone walks up and punches me in the goddamn face or hits me with a car or shoots me, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, that's you know, true. I'm allowed to say I'm going to do something stupid to a government. Yeah. yeah. But when the government comes to my goddamn house and arrests me because I'm t making threats. Yep. It's not it's not an absolution of uh of rights. It is just an increase of of penalty for certain actions. Well, right. And now everything is is can be seen, right? It's like people used to sit at home and plan all this shit without the internet and no one would know because you're sitting in a house, you're not typing it on the internet, there's no digital trail, like you and your group of friends sitting together talking about doing something nefarious. Yeah. And that's it. Like just, no one's going to find out unless someone talks. Just as good as the internet is for moms who want to find friends who also do needlepoint, it's just as good for <laughs> neo-Nazis, <laughs> you know? It, it, <laughs> and, it, exactly so there you go <laughs> right right like like you like we've said numerous times you'll find if you have a fucked up hobby you'll find somebody else who likes that too that is so true and it could be the most niche little thing ever mm. there's at least two of you online that like to do that yeah like i can i can say with almost 100 percent certainty that no matter how weird niche whatever you're into somebody else on the internet is into that too someone somewhere they yeah. might be in bangladesh but there's somebody out there, right? And, like, and, there, and there's probably adult content for it, too. Exactly. Rule 34. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not even talking sexual act. I'm talking about just weird whatever, whatever yeah. you're trying to do. You just made me think of, like, all the debauchery that the internet has, and I was just like, ugh. It's like that sketch that, that Chappelle did about, like, if the internet was a place you could actually, like, walk through and how, like, how debaucherous and gross. It would just be people trying to, like, <laughs> sell you insurance and D, D enlargement pills. Yeah, I think hookers. it's even worse nowadays, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and it's really funny because, like, the internet has really changed because it used to be like you go on, you search for web pages, you do whatever. And now like everyone just uses aggregators like Reddit, Facebook. Basically, they're just aggregators for stuff on mm -hmm. the internet. No, one's, no one's going like, let me check my favorite website for my new article. Like no one does that. No, no. I mean, no. people might go to like a news website. New York they, Times or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right. Or... But like 
You we were, used to be like, I want to go to ESPN's website and see what all the articles about sports are. Nobody does no, that. No. And even before Reddit was big, I used to use RSS feeds, and then you, you would t you would basically create your own Reddit. You would put all the websites in, and it would pull all their stories into an aggregator for you, and it would be all text, and you wouldn't have to like go through all the BS and whatever. Like, so I mean, really. Because if you go diving in the internet, you get like, it's like you go to, it's like you go to the strip in Vegas. The strip in Vegas, great. You go one or two streets off that, you might die. <laughs> or at least get a virus. <laughs> right, exactly. You're about to get robbed. You're about to like, when we got off the train and walked to Circus Circus, compared to the strip, no, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was not a good neighborhood. I definitely felt like I could have got an STD from like touching a doorknob in that area. <laughs> right, exactly. So, anywho, uh, just be 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 careful what you're putting on the internet. Make sure I mean anyone can see it and anyone can do something about it. Yep, so, and good luck to our, our brethren over in the U UK. Uh, be safe out there. Faux show. So, all right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh yeah.